Legendary lacrosse coach Bill Tierney is getting ready to coach his last season. The 70-year-old icon will retire after this year after coaching 42 years in the NCAA, 14 with DU, winning a record seven national championships total. But his legacy will include helping grow this game in Colorado and the West and turning Denver into the lacrosse capital of the West. Here's Nick Rothschild with the story. Snow piled up against the fence. The sign reads, Lacrosse Capital of the West. You know, 15 years ago, that wouldn't have been thought possible here at the University of Denver. But with the arrival of legendary coach Bill Tierney, everything changed. Denver has won the national championship. You know, I thought it was a great opportunity to, number one, help the program, but number two, help grow the game out west. From his first step on the DU campus, Coach T was looking past Peter Barton Stadium. The part about the growing the game was about youth lacrosse. And uh, we started LXTC lacrosse, our Denver Elite programs, and uh, started to get it going at the youth level, um, which really grew and I, I think has helped uh, kind of satisfy that dream a little bit. He's always prioritized people. And by taking the job in Denver, he saw his chance to bring the game he loves Denver. to a new audience. Being a Colorado local kid, seeing the growth in the high school game and the youth game, uh, as soon as he kind of started coming out here and bringing that buzz, it's, it's completely taken off. Eric Law played for Coach T. It's a cliche thing to say, but he's the, the John Wooden of Cause Across. Law says Tierney's mere presence in the West created interest, but it was his personality that created progress. It was the first time I feel like um, people started to recognize the West in Colorado as kind of a lacrosse community. He's going to make time for you and he's going to listen to you. He's a phone call away. He's such a, um, a person that just truly cares about people deeply and his relationships with people. He's going to start feeling good about this because you're going to reiterate to him all the time, good job, good job, good job. Now, he's not all sunshine and rainbows. Once a week, Metsy gets a smile on his face. He goes over the head or he wraps him or he beats the crap out of him. All right, it's a great offensive drill. First scrimmage of Hopkins threw the ball about 10 feet over the guy's head that I was supposed to. Threw it out of bounds, and uh, I met Coach T pretty quickly after that. <laughs> That's what makes him so special, so uniquely qualified to grow the game of lacrosse. The most legendary l uh, coach in the game. Danny Logan saw it firsthand, fiery passion combined with deep care. He's touched every part of the game um, in, in many different locations. His legacy is really going to be, um, you know, all the, the young men that he, he affected and, and he, uh, you know, helped grow into to great people. You can't just say, just play lacrosse, because you better have an answer for these guys, and I think that's very important. The man loves lacrosse but he loves people more, and that will be his true legacy. On my gravestone, I don't want that I won a million championships. I want that my players to, to know that I love them, each and every one. Nick Rothschild. Do you want to be the one to tell them that headstones can have more than one thing on them? <laughs> I'm not going to tell them anything. <laughs> uh, I've, I've learned that lesson before. Denver 7 Sports.